okay so this uh, video is wonderful uh, i had interaction with devesh she is the student of uh, oceaneering department iit madras mtech and he is from civil engineering background so uh, no there is a craze students are crazy to join companies like iucl ongc and in the private sector companies like mnc like shell you know to get into uh, ongc or iucl with civil engineering you need to have uh, all india rank within 100 but do you know that these kind of companies come for placement in oceaneering department of iit madras also for mtech general category you can think of getting this department somewhere between 670 to 700 gate score but for ms it can be even lesser quite lesser i'll provide you that information later on if you're in ms now think of your gate score is 500 general category you land up in this department let us say for ms and then ongc comes and you get into ongc don't you think it is wonderful so uh, not only a placement uh, out of uh, you know uh, let's say 15 uh, 20 students who are doing their masters in this department four or five students can go abroad germany norway and all through dart scholarship wonderful opportunities listen to this entire uh, interaction and i'm very sure you'll get benefited and those of you who will be interested to talk to devesh i've requested him to come join zoom meeting with us so that more information could be provided okay so devesh let me first thank you for the time you spared for this interaction yeah thank you sir devesh you are doing your masters in a very interesting branch interdisciplinary branch which is oceaneering branch yeah. and uh, you are in the top most institute of our country that is iit madras so i will be knowing uh, more about this branch oceaneering branch from you and you are from civil engineering background and uh, about iit madras ka ye department kaisa hai what are the opportunities from this uh, department and before that i start with your background uh, academic background please tell us when did you graduate from the college from which college did you graduate your cgpa in that college your category and uh, with what subjects did you write gate environment civil and what was the gate score so my background is in civil engineering and my college was bms college of engineering bangalore and uh, my cgpa was 8.76 uh, i passed in 2020 my category was general and i wrote uh, from civil engineering only i didn't take uh, environmental paper okay and what was the gate score in that devesh uh, around 8 690 i think 683 or 690 okay and what was your cgpa 8.76 okay 8.76 and your category general general so now devesh with this credential 698.76 8.76 and general category i'm sure you could have got multiple calls from ms courses also i want to ask yeah. you did you apply for ms and phd courses also and if yes from where did you get the calls i got uh, my calls from three or four colleges i think iit bombay i got uh, and uh, iit guwahati in transportation i got for ms from iit rurki i got call but at the end i decided to go for iit madras okay. so did you get call from iit which department did you get call from iit bombay uh, iit bombay environmental i got environmental for for, M, uh, for phd i got from there phd you got the call for that did yeah. you apply in ic bangalore also for different uh, branches no 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 i haven't did not apply i decided like i will go for iit Great. So then you applied in COAP rounds, right? Yeah. So can you tell me in COAP IIT Madras in which round did you get, and did you get any other uh, institute also? In third, from third round I started getting IIT Madras, so I retained it two times, and in fifth I locked that. You uh, thought of uh, locking it, right? For and for th th third I got, then for fourth I retained, and for fifth I locked that. Okay. Acha Divesh, what about CCMT and NITs? Did you uh, explore that option also? No, actually, I talked with you and you told me like yeah, you will sure get call from IIT, so I haven't applied for CCMT. Okay. So Divesh, now coming to IIT Madras Oceaneering Department, tell me, is there MS also in this department? Uh, you yeah. are doing MTech, so is there MS also? MS, PhD, MTech, all of them. Yeah. So can you tell me in MS at what gate score a student can think of getting call from IIT Madras this department? Any idea about that? I'm not sure, but uh, like it depends on interview as well. And uh, I think five and five fifty. I think they think can get it. call. Yeah. But yours was not interview. No, there was no interview for you. No, mine was M Tech. So direct admission. Mm -hmm. 
no no uh, as this is interdisciplinary department can you tell me what other branches student are there with you so we have mechanical mostly mechanical and civil mostly electrical electricals are allowed for ms and phd for mtech they have decided for M civil and mechanical what about agriculture guys and uh, chemical and all these are not there huh? no no they are not. so they are not there with you hmm. now tell me about this department what is oceaneering department what is this all about actually yeah so like uh, first oil and gas industry it is about oil and gas industry and second clean energy like this is very popular right now even i i am working in wind energy okay. so wave energy wind energy and uh, oil and gas like last year six seven companies came from oil and gas industries like shell com came in i o indian oil corporation came so mostly these things are very popular for research of course clean energy is very popular right now so these are the main so, so when we say clean energy do we mean renewable form of energies like you yeah. said wind hai to solar bhi rahega or something like that so mostly in for uh, like in ocean engineering we deal with two like floating wind turbines uh, in of in ocean and one is wave energy so these two tidal energy and all those things i think solar and all comes under energy science department and there electrical is a separate mostly. department also yeah electrical people mostly work in that mm. now devesh coming to uh, this iit madras oceaneering department is a prestigious department and uh, now i also want to know about the placement situation of this department like what kind of placement a student can expect and uh, core non core how do you divide it and the packages kind of thing so what is the information related to that so let's say for non core anyone can apply for any companies in iit madras they have just to prepare for coding and all those things for core last year like it drastically improved for uh, iit madras i think uh, six non six core companies came as i told uh, like uh, famous are uh, shell company shell um, oil company and uh, iocl came so iocl placement ke liye came huh? yeah uh, three students got selected for that also in the placement three or two two i think yeah okay. from my art department okay so iocl comes and shell comes okay and uh, how many yeah. students get placed normally Uh, i think uh, phase 1 is over for our senior students i think men, like uh, uh, around in phase 1 20% i think got uh, placed i think i, I am not very sure but i think 20 25% in phase 1 other phases uh, like i think three or four phase will be more devesh uh, oil companies there are so many oil companies in indian public sector also only iucl comes or others can also join like you know hpcl companies also there then bpcl is there oil india limited is there ongc is there so uh, can we call more companies also how how the psu decide yeah, yeah. ongc ongc like they came this year i am not sure but they have came like earlier okay. ongc hmm. and so other all companies can also yeah तो जैसे हम देखते हैं कि सब ओ में एंटर करना सौ के अंदर रैंक होना चाहिए गेट में तभी जा सकते हैं बट यहाँ पे आप अगर अच्छा कर रहे हैं गेटिंग डूइंग गुड इन मास्टर्स यू कैन थिंक ऑफ गेटिंग इन दिस कंपनीज आल्सो राइट अगर प्रोजेक्ट अच्छा है लाइक सो यू कैन गेट इनटू इट acha you know this oceaneering also you deal with fluids and all and i'm sure people learn about computational fluid dynamics and all these things also yeah. so what kind of software skills students develop in oceaneering and the wish yeah this uh, can you tell me about the opportunities we can explore for higher education abroad through this department i mean haan. we can go there ha so yahan ka exchange program kafi strong hai so norway ke sath ya germany ke sath dad scholarship ye sab jo hota hai ye kafi kafi zyada matlab popular hai even our seniors like two three we have like 18 batch ka 18 batch hai bas so two or three people uh, gone to germany and norway Mm-hmm. so through dad opportunity dad yeah 
तो अपॉर्चुनिटी बहुत ज्यादा है सो एनी मैसेज यू वॉन्ट टू गिव टू प्रोस्पेक्टिव स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ ओशनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट आई आई टी मद्रास सो आई थिंक आई विल ऑलरेडी टेल की ये मोस्टली अगर रिसर्च में जाना है तो ये काफी अच्छा डिपार्टमेंट है एंड इवन प्लेसमेंट इज लाइक रियली इम्प्रूविंग हाँ इस साल खासकर काफी ज्यादा इंक्रीज हो गया है प्लेसमेंट चलो लेट मी थैंक यू देवेश फॉर दिस वंडरफुल सेशन आई एम श्योर इट इज वेरी इन्फॉर्मेटिव एंड स्टूडेंट्स विल गेट लॉट ऑफ बेनिफिट थ्रू दिस एंड लास्ट माई रिक्वेस्ट इज दिस इयर यू नो योर पीडिया इज कंडक्टिंग मल्टीपल सेशन विद स्टूडेंट्स इन्फॉर्मेटिव सेशन in which we will invite uh, students like you who are sitting in those departments and all over india any student who wants to interact with you aap se baat karna chahe aap se kuch puchna chahe to zoom ke upar hame wo join kar sakta hai aur aapke sath direct baat kar sakta hai so i'll be bothering you for half an hour 45 minutes once again in which uh, students we can invite and aap uh, prospective students ko apni taraf se jo information hai being alumni of this department you can uh, provide uh, the information right devesh yeah sure thanks a lot devesh for your time Yeah no problem thank you